Hi there, folks. I'd like to point out a few new features in Mastering that you might have overlooked. These came with the summer release that updated Mastering in the latter part of July, uh, just a few days before me making this video. And you might not have noticed them yet, but they are really, really handy. For instance, here on the home page of the course, we have this welcome back area. This is going to tell you what's due immediately and what's coming up, as well as some tips for things to study. The top item here says due today by 11.59. That one happens to be the next item that's up for this particular class. It's Chapter 14, Group 2 of a Dynamic Study Module. Uh, you can pop that open and get to work on it. You can see what's due tomorrow. In this case, looks like I'm homework for Chapter 14. Uh, the neat thing about this is it actually tells you, for most of these, how many items are in this particular assignment and about how long a typical student should take to work on these. So if you're trying to schedule your time, this is a great tip. In addition, you can see what's coming up. Looks like for this class, there are two assignments that are due on Monday. If you click that date, you can actually see what's coming up. But it tells you in short here that that's an adaptive assignment plus a reading assignment. And here at the very bottom of the welcome area, it even tells you some handy things to go back and look at. For this class, the Chapter 12 quiz has already been due. It's past due. You can't go change the grade. But it does point out here, practicing won't change your score, but it can improve your understanding. So this welcome back area, for my money, has some great tips. Let's take a look at my next favorite tip. We're going to open up the Chapter 14 homework item. Let's just pop open the first question. I want to show you one of my favorite tips. It's subtle, but once you discover it, it's really powerful. First off, read the question. In this particular case, it's something about uh, what part of the nervous system is responsible for skeletal muscle. Cool, cuddly, read the question, decide what answer you might be looking for. And if you're not done this one yet, then you get a free pick at a question. But honestly, I don't care. The big deal for me here is in the top right corner. It's subtle. You might not have even noticed it, but I want you to know it's here. Notice top right corner, it says review, and there's a little icon there that looks like a book. This, if you click it, is going to tell you exactly where in the book you need to look to answer this question. So if you've got a paper copy of the book only for this question, go to section 14.1. If you actually have access to the e-text, click it open right here while you're looking at the question. And now we've got the exact part of the book that you need in order to answer this. Okay, seriously, how cool is that? You can even do a keyword search if you need to here with this tip. So while it looks subtle and you might not even realize it's there, that little review thing, priceless. That's it. It's been a short video with a couple of cool tips. I hope this has helped. Thanks.